Hello everybody, welcome back. Sometimes I have to make cakes quite classic designs and seen before many times. Having said that, there is still significant difference between chef to chef about how it has been done, what kind of methods or materials been used. This cake, what I'd like to show you in this video, is already prepared in separate components. I just would like to show you the plan and share with you the short explanations about each component how they have been produced before everything is packed so at least you will have some idea this wedding is tomorrow the cake has to be delivered as securely packed separate parts and put together at the venue that is exactly what i would like to show you when the cake is too large and too complicated and cannot be transported in one piece how to pack deliver and assemble at the final destination i will continue filming every stage during this process Joe and I, we are also attending the wedding and hopefully I also can get some short clips during the event. Now let's go to my studio and see the plan and the parts that I'm talking about. Okay, that is the design. As I mentioned, also as you see, it is very classic. Separate cakes, joining together with steps, with stairs and a garden situation. The coach, wedding coach arriving to the front and uh, as if that uh, the couple will get out of the coach and gonna take the steps and going all the way up to the church so that's a kind of story here uh, components are very very sort of like a, a individual this is a particular church which i have to follow and then the cakes are diamond uh, diamonds at the bottom quilt design with silver dredges and then silver vintage piping on it and then the stairs are matching to that kind of decorations and the fountain in the middle, real fountain with the electric operated, uh, real water will be used, of course. Uh, I will take some precautions that the water is not spilled around the cake. And the uh, particular design of a, a coach, unusually uh, sort of like wedding coach, uh, produced like a, a blacksmith metal work, is everywhere open. You can see the couple inside. I also use some uh, specific uh, uh, sort of like a look of the couple and try to follow exactly uh, what they uh, look like not exactly but sort of like a, some components will be then similar like a hairstyle etc uh, peonies peonies flower arrangements will be placed in one two three one two three four five location and uh, that is it what you see over here is uh, the cake will be about 900 uh, millimeters and then if you add the 70 centimeter of the table end up 1.6 uh, meter so it will be uh, slightly a little lower than the bride's height so we just just nice because sometimes it's not good to make the cakes higher than the bride's height so it will be just right okay now I like to go back to my tables and show you each components over here how I produce it let me show you first overall what I have. This is the fountain. These are the cakes. This is the stairs individually. Or the nicely packed. Actually just secure, not yet packed. And this is the coach. And this is the church, as you see it in the picture. All right. And these are the flowers. That's the peony arrangements. These are the, the post, individual posts. And the cake boards are all covered with the pastillage. And of course I have some uh, sort of tools and gears that I need to take with me in case there's something happen. Of course I need sort of like a, a cordless drill to get all these uh, uh, posts are joined together. So, in that uh, case now what i like to do i'm going to go back to individual parts one by one and explain you and showing you some little tools what i use i think this will be quite informative for you let's start from the church so it is a particular church as i said 
in order to make it exactly or as close as possible, I need to have a picture. So I have already obtained one picture. This is the church actually. And that is a lot more longer, longer or in the depth uh, than, the, than the cake. Of course, I have to just modify it. I just have to change some directions to fit the church on a large scale at the same time can fit on a 25 centimeter cake. So, but I of course maintain the front part. This is the most important part. And then uh, I use only pastillage. And as you see that styrofoam, polystyrene underneath, and I secure them with a small little uh, skewers, uh, just place it on it and then put it in the right corner that already stabilized the position and also will make it very secure to transport. Uh, silver luster with alcohol had been also uh, sort of like uh, used for the silver parts. So as you see that, when I go a bit closer, you see that beautiful, uh, I don't know beautiful or not, but it's actually reasonable good, uh, like brickwork. So how I did it, uh, it is very simple. That is a line marker, plastic line marker. I take a pastillage, roll it in one direction first, so I have a, a parallel lines, and after that I use this little, little screwdriver. As you see the tip is exactly matching to the, between the line sizes. And I just take the, what do you call it, pastillage, before then is to, before then hard, harden, I just touch over here, like that. So one, one brick at a time, and then I produce those walls before I cut all the texture. And after that, uh, I do some cutboard planning, of course. And after that, join together with realizing. So uh, that's about that. Well, let me just go around and show you around. There's the site. I think, I think pretty matching to that reality. So the behind is not very important, so that's why I didn't put too much of details. So as you see that, uh, how is the texture of the wall? Uh, just a screwdriver. I just go one by one like that. It was a bit time consuming, but not really. It's just after sometimes I actually did the quite a sort of like a evenly here, and after that I bit uh, maybe I get tired, so I just get a bit more random pushing in there in that kind of direction. All right. So that's about the church. Let's go away a little bit so you can see it beautifully. So stairs connecting the cakes together uh, has one non-foot uh, cardboard underneath. So actually the bottom part here is a one flat piece completely covered with pastillage. And then the side, side lines, uh, the main frame, main frame without the ornamental part are all pastillage cut from one piece and then the rail placed on top, rail is underneath. The end bit, so these parts are uh, pastillage go around the uh, skewer and join together because then you see that what you see, the little connection piece here is actually uh, it goes into the board, which I will then show you later on. So remember that what I said, this little uh, skewer piece, I need it to, very important, to secure that stairs in the right place. So it's a combination of pastillage and royal icing. Every single sort of like uh, ornamental work here, over pipe, like two or three times over pipe, royal icing, because once I have the, the rooms are proportional ready, I can easily pipe inside, over a sort of plastic, of course, lying position, uh, over a plastic, when it's dry, take it out and put it together. So these pieces, as you see, that will be also coming underneath here after the board. So I will also show you that, how it is. The most important part here is the, the angle of the stairs. So that's why the plan what I did, it gives me exactly the, the angle, so I can get some uh, sort of template from that drawing and produce that in very, very accurate way. So as you see, there's a little bit of uh, repair job going over here. Uh, this morning I touch it and then one side is broken. I have to put the plastic behind and pipe again uh, to this part. So when it's complete dry, it's actually dry now, I can remove the plastic. It will be sort of like you don't even see any kind of uh, joining part there. 
All right, I think that's all what I can say for the stairs. So let's go to the cakes, how I did the, this vintage piping and then decorate those cakes. Okay, I have a few important things to say about the cakes. So when you look at the overall design, it's like a nicely coated cake with fonda. Uh, given only on the side is the uh, quilt design and the joining lines decorated with the silver dredges. And then there's a piping around the cake. There's a non-foot diamond piece at the bottom. So uh, as you see that I will be right, what is it? This is a fruit cake because a particular cake has to go in a particular place on the combination. So uh, anybody or most untrained eyes will see that like someone did this cake, pipe on the side and paint it with silver, which is uh, quite possible, but a very daunting method uh, if you try to do this, because uh, like vertical piping is already one issue because that uh, you always fight with the gravity, things are go downwards and you have to really adjust your the tip of the nozzle with the surface uh, exact so whatever you pipe it stays on the right position. So I make a trick. So I design the vintage uh, decorations and then separate in the individual parts, like this one is one piece, that is another piece, that little things are individual pieces, and actually there is a three items here. One is the C shape, another one is like a, a chicken feet, another one is the uh, sort of like a L shape, and every every part is a one, two, three shapes here, and every one is like reverse like a mirror effect in the other side. So this is same as this, and this is same as that, but on the other way around. So uh, I calculated the diameter surrounding circumference of the, of the cake, and I make it a one flat piece uh, on the table, and I know exactly how big I have to do decorations. When I put them all in the right place, it will join together in the rightly without any kind of like overlapping. So this is a little bit distance, but doesn't matter. It looks still all right. Okay, so then the trick was, I used the gravity, this time a pipe on a piece of plastic. So I can even, I can even do some templates underneath according to this design, and then pipe two or three times overlapping. Make sure that the last piping is very thin, thinner than the bottom one. It gives like a special effect. And then I place the, uh, silver uh, luster with the alcohol, spray it, dry it, pick up individual, place it on that with a bit of white chocolate. It looks like I piped on the cake. That makes the cake look more interesting. All right, so let's go to another component now. Okay, these are the, uh, I don't know what should I call columns. I think columns is better or I can say also pillars, of course. So it's a kind of like, a, again, a vintage design, sort of like Roman type of pillars. Um, I use exactly the same roller, which I show you just now, for the brickwork. So a line marker, a pastelage rolled, and around the uh, 18 millimeter wooden dowels. Uh, as you see that, I drill a hole on both sides because I'm going to, have to screw this on the board. Uh, at the bottom and at the top, so make sure that everything is 100% secure. So, um, what's happening here? There is the column heads, uh, four high one. I have four high one. I make sure this stays, we don't break anything, right? It looks like this. And then eight short one. So, eight short means that we have two, pillar, two stand, short stand, and one high stand. So when you like it, when you look at uh, this part, like you see the round circles, right? I usually, uh, I mean, you may think about just I just roll the uh, roll the pastelage and then cut with a cutter. But how do I get so roundish on the side if I do that? So I have a very simple concept. You make a ball of a pastelage freshly and place it on a ball, on the on the base on the table. 
and then take a something transparent, flat piece, and push it down while the passenger is nice, smooth, and soft, right? And I can see, because the transparent pusher, it shows me the size of the uh, tablet, like a flat piece, all right? So I only cut after that the center exactly the size of the pillar. So I place it on, use a bit of egg white or water or real icing, and glue them in the right place. As you see over here, this is double layer here. That is his first layer, that's a double layer, all right? So that, that makes it like so easy. Uh, that is a base and then the circle here, a flat piece overlapping towards uh, after the first layer. Another piece cut exactly the size of this part and push it in. And then this part is the same and the top is the same. As you see that, also there is a hole on each side already prepared for screwing to the board. So the pillar head, or let's say column head, <coughs> it looks very complicated, right? It looks very complicated, but actually not. What it is, is actually just triangular piece, rolled like a kind of like a, a what do you call this? Like a scroll, all right? Uh, because of triangular piece, you will give me like an upper part is larger, lower part is thinner. I also place it, uh, roll it in one side uh, outwards, one side inwards, small part, and then join together. And I also put some royal icing piping on it, it makes it a little bit more uh, sort of like a nice, right? So you don't see, like it, I have a mistake over here, so this doesn't really stand nicely, but when you put all together, it looks very nice, all right? So, uh, this kind of things like you have to look at a little bit from far away. If you go too close, it may not be like a perfect, but all together, you judge the whole competition, all right? Not competition, composition, all right? So sometimes I mix up the words. Composition. As you see that this part is same thing. It's happened one down, one upwards, all right? So I think this will be very, very nice. I can't put the stands together and then bring it there because in this high ones, in the center will be the my water fountain. So the water fountain is a one, one sort of like ceramic bowl at the bottom, an electric pump in the center. And I place a kind of like a PVC roll around. Water cannot be spilled because once I start the uh, pump is running, uh, it will be some little driplets goes around. It will make it like affect the cake. The cake is just right in this distance. It's not good. So that's why I place, this is like a bit loose now, but with a little bit of water, I will stabilize it this in the right position like that. There will be no problem. So um, there will be water, at least about one and a half liter inside. And that will be, as you see that uh, submergible uh, light uh, coming with the different colors. Uh, let's try this. I hope that works. Yeah, so I changed like a, a fading to different color and it will make it looks nice. All right, remote control is important because that goes in the water. I have to operate from outside. All right, uh, you understand the things I explained till now. So I want to go to the uh, flower arrangements, how actually done by my wife, Jo, so I will explain you how she did it. Okay, now, Peony's arrangement uh, is designed to put in the middle of the posts, like uh, uh, underneath, underneath, uh, between the posts, sort of like, uh, and also uh, on top of the cakes. So the size is very important. It's not overly crowded and it will just decorate the case in one corner, all right? So when you look at this kind of flower arrangements, you will think first uh, every petal will be done individually. And after that, they have to be wired and then the wire will be joined together. So in a, in a kind of like, uh, that is quite possible when you do it like a competition, uh, you know, as I said, just before I mix up with the composition. If you go for a competition, you can do that individual uh, petals joined with the wiring, but not in this case, because we have to be more rational, we have to be more quicker, 
and then to make things possible, not that uh, you spending for one week for one flower arrangements. All right. So uh, everything is out of pastillage. There's a base underneath. There's a base underneath. There's also one lifter underneath. There's a two color, light green and white. Right. So the lifter makes the flowers going out and then like looking outwards, but the bottom part like joining in one spot. So it gives us a, like a life, uh, otherwise it would be too flat. All right. And uh, what's happening here is what uh, Jo did. Uh, she did individual petals like this, all right? like this. So they are all individually done, very simple uh, with a cutter. And after that, you have a vayner. You push it into the silicone vayner. And after that, make sure that you put it into the spoon. So the plastic spoons will make the shape maintain like this. And after that, we use the paper cup, like a cupcake, cupcake sort of holder. And after that, you put the center first in the middle, and then use a little bit of royal icing, put the first line around that, around that. You see, like there's a one center part, right? It's a bit more bulky piece. And after that, smaller petals go around. After that, a little bit larger, a little bit larger. Uh, then the paper cup will hold the shape. So it is important to make the petals first and let them dry because otherwise will be all falling into the like a flatter and more sort of like dead looking flower. All right. So uh, and then individual pieces, very simple, uh, two piece. One is the little, little butt, as you see right here, little butt out of pastillage again, and then a little leaf. Like this, just two items, two items. But joining together is really important. Like you take, you take one piece first, and then start from the very tip. You start joining together with the wires, twisting the wire, and then uh, one but one uh, sort of like a small flower, but another leaf, another but another leaf. So it combined to about four or five pieces. That makes it a little bit more elaborate, right? Doesn't have to be too too much time consuming, but it makes it like really worth to do it. All right, so uh, what's important is using something like pastillage that holds very nicely and dry. And then uh, you can join with the royal icing, let it be dry for next day, all the flowers, and after that, join together. So in this kind of arrangements, what you have to do, you have to make a plan also again, how many petals you need, you know, you can just make a drawing and then in the drawing, you will show it will show you exactly how many petals you need, large, medium, and small. And then don't waste your time. Only do what you need. So that is the flowers. I'm sure it will be look very nice when I put together. Uh, you will see the arrangements will be look fantastic. Now it's the uh, very much of like a most important part of the cake. Uh, the coach, wedding coach, uh, is uh, carrying the couple inside. All right. It looks a bit complicated, but it's actually not. So what is the challenge of here to produce the center part here? All right. So if I produce in one piece, I cannot put the couples inside. All right. So I have to make it two piece. What I did, I did a cup underneath first, like a just, just like a cup. All right. I, I find something round and then put the pastillage on top and I cut like a design to uh, cut like a fluted shape a design that uh, it fits on top all right the other things on top so once i have that lower part dry i have a hole in the center it dries and i can handle it very nicely it's very stable all right dry and what i did i take a balloon all right push the balloon inside the hole between the hole comes out from other side I blow from the from other side, blow the balloon inside the cavity of the first cup-shaped base. All right. Make sure everybody touching. After that, stable the stabilize the balloon so it doesn't release the air. And after that, I work with pastillage, place all those individual parts on the balloon, glued with a kind of uh, water. All right. Because I know that when the water is dries, when the pasta is dry, it will release. But at the, that moment, the water will hold every single piece on the balloon in the right position. 
So I can place the posteriorized circles, one on the top like a flower, one on the side, triple here, triple here on the other side, and everything else I piped with the realizing on the balloon, which is gonna be dry and taken out. So this piece is actually comes after. So that's the center part. When you look at underneath, actually there's a, there's a, there's a gap. It's not touching at the bottom, right? So that's important. And the second thing is, the wheels and the mudguard produce together in one piece, two piece, in one, in one whole a set, in two sets, all right? So that mudguards, first of all, produce the wheels, all right? Behind the wheels, I put one bracelet so that I can get the joint together into the, into the sort of red bar in the middle, all right? And after that, I follow the drawing. I just go one piece here, all right, one piece here. And then next piece comes on top of it, like that, another piece separate. So I actually join this one, that one, and the wheel together with the realizing to make it one complete piece, let it dry for about two days. So I want to have a complete rigid hardness that can carry the weight in the middle, all right? So, and this piece, this piece is actually joined at the very end, all right? So that part, I was able to, when I released the balloon air, I was able to take it out, all right? And after that, I work it out, the chair and the couple inside, and then the, that's, the, that's the lady and the guy with the beard. So inside, you can't see exactly, but... It's all right. So then, uh, then what has happened is I join the mud guards together in the position. I put this this bar together, and all what I have to do, I take the the, the ball and place in the center. That mud guards carries the center part of the of the uh, coach. So one bar in the middle, starting from here towards the front, and another one coming here resting on the other bar. The horses. I mean, as you probably know that, that is my forte. Making animals standing on legs out of pastillage by making my signature method, two half body uh, joined together. So I actually produce the neck, the body and the back leg like this and the front leg. I put some lifter on the back leg. So I have a three legs holding the uh, horse in the right place. I have a video on YouTube also how to make horse, you can just see that uh, more in details, all right? So important things what I like to say over here, as you see that everything goes on a piece of styrofoam, piece of polystyrene, and then secure with the, with the skewers. So all I have to do, make sure the styrofoam is larger than the piece, I have to make a box. I cannot find the box exactly for that, but I can make a box exactly for this size, and then use this styrofoam touching to the side of the box inside, and it will hold in right place. It more left and right doesn't matter. And also, styrofoam pastel gives a bit of, bit of sort of like a uh, sort of suspension, like a uh, put a kind of like a take the uh, sort of like a knocking away from that. So these are the worthy things that I like to talk about. Everything else is self understandable. So what will happen now? I'm going to produce on my boxes. I will show you later on uh, the box, the things in the boxes. So then we will take off tomorrow and go into the venue and then put the, everything together. So I will share with you the, the also those kind of moments. Okay, this is next day morning and uh, I have packed everything yesterday and uh, that is all ready to go. Let me start from the, uh, from the boat. So in about a few hours time, my good neighbor, Don coming. Uh, so uh, he is a wonderful person. We always do things together. We help each other for every kind of project, uh, like even like home, home renovations or boating or anything. So we, uh, so he's a good guy. He's about almost 90 years old. So I love him like a father. So uh, just, uh, just wonderful to have his help with me. Um, He's an engineer. Uh, you will. I will show you. I will show him later on. Anyway, you will see him the, by helping me during the 
uh, putting things together. So this is the board, uh, one meter wide, round, and uh, it is uh, wood, about sort of 16 millimeter thickness, and covered with the white silk, and then also protected with the plastic. So as you see that all those holes here, according to the pre drill, according to the position of the pillars, and there's also a hole here passing through the electric uh, wire for the fountain. Fountain will be here, and then the wire will goes underneath the board, right? So, and uh, these are the uh, cake boards on top of the pillars. So packed with the uh, also pre drill everything accordingly. These two hole on the side here to uh, take the stairs and then holding in the right place. So as I showed you last time, there's a little extension underneath. So the extensions comes here and they're holding in the place. As you see, styrofoam, polystyrene, this plays a big role on packaging and then the skewers. So skewers and styrofoam, it is absolutely essential to have the secure packing for cakes. All right, now next thing is the pillars. Uh, that is something interesting. I use aluminum foil because when you crumble aluminum foil, it's soft enough to hold things in the in the, in the place and also when you're pushing in it's sort of a molded into the into the shape that things can stay separately and at the same time strong enough that it doesn't move anything away all right so uh, this is the uh, coach as you see that i said if you cannot find the box i have to make the box so i did every every box has a cover on its own all right the flowers and the cakes so, as you see that, uh, there's a board here for holding the cake in the right place. So I can pull the, pull the board out and take the cake out. Every cake also underneath has another round board. So when I'm lifting up, the cake will not gonna be sort of like a, a getting sort of bended, it cracks, nothing will happen, all right? So um, that's here. That's the big cake, white mud cake. That's the castle. As you see that, uh, it's important to have the boxes easy to open like this one is a cover like this cover like this and then when the time comes uh, they can we can open like this and take it out at the same time uh, i promise the per, uh, wedding couple that i'll keep uh, boxes in the kitchen so they can take it home the couch and then the castle especially all right over here some i get there some uh, tools and gears that helped me to put together the screws and then a couple of these uh, chocolate uh, fragile decorations that stand by if this like this is the most vulnerable part of the cake so if there's something broke something break here i can also fix it there that is something important that's uh, these are the legs styrofoam uh, about uh, five by five and about two centimeter high uh, attached with a double-sided tape so when the cake is uh, when the cake board on the table, I will place them underneath because that kind of space I need to go to electric wire for the fountain underneath the, the board, underneath the board or go uh, over the table. So, another important things. 150 guests coming to the wedding tonight. And uh, I have, according to this size, so three inch by two inch by one inch. So seven and a half centimeter by 50 centimeter. Uh, sorry, seven and a half millimeter, seven and a half centimeter, five centimeter, and two and a half centimeter. Uh, a block. If if they cut the cake exactly this size, they will get about 176 portion. So because we have two different flavor, uh, chocolate and white mud cake. So I will recommend the chef giving this one. If he cuts like this, everybody get one flavor. If he cut the half of this, everybody get two flavors. Up to them to. Uh, how to sort of enjoy the flavors, two different flavors at the same time. Uh, okay, that's a drill already fully charged and I have my uh, drill bits, everything here, screws here. So this all ready to go. So next thing you see that uh, we're gonna put this in the car and then get on the road and uh, you'll see us unpacking later on in the venue. All right, just fit very nicely into Don's car. So we are also uh, four person in the car, so we can just take off.
Darling, you stay here. You watch the car, please. So we are all arrived securely. I didn't check the boxes yet, what's inside. Uh, but it looks like the table is not straight. So we have to really watch this one first and uh, take care about it. Maybe they have to do something about it, I'm not so sure. And these are the boxes. And then uh, this is the man I'm talking about, Don Farman. This is my good neighbor. Hello. <laughs> and his wife, Benji. Say hello to my followers. Oh, hello, how are you? <laughs> okay. So Don will help me today with all this thing together. But we have a little bit of doubt about the, the table and we have to check again. We have, I put some legs that I can get the wire out. You know what I mean? This is the this is the back. Okay. So we have six, okay? Three, three, three. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's put one. Over there. Ta table, table. Over there. Come on this way. Over there. Small one. That's it. Three, three of them. When the screws go through, you want to lift this off the table. We just so place it. it. Just place it. You just touch it. Right. So we need about two liter water. Two liter water? Water, yes. Yeah. Next one. Next tall one. It has to turn to straight like this. Leave it to me. Okay, next one. Um, Stand aside, darling. Hmm? Yeah. Where do you want me to go? Yeah. Not in the middle, though. Screw this one, sir.
beautiful now. No, not yet. Back. You've got a switch for this, have you? We have to just plug it in. Give me the one, I'll get rid of it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Just run for one minute to see if there is any spill coming out. This chair in the fridge. It's good, huh? Yeah. left. I think the big one. The big one. The one on top. Yes.
Who's creating this? Who created this? this and then they should. You know, man, when you get married. <laughs> Everything has been done. Uh, we arrive here at 1 p.m. and with all my friends' help, it is 3 o'clock, 3 afternoon, and it is finished. So we have another uh, couple of hours to go home and then change and come back again. So I don't know about you, but I'm pretty happy with the result. So uh, don't worry about the, all those mess behind the table, but uh, the overall is, I think, quite impressive. So. If somebody asked me, so what is the really your favorite cake in the past you did? I mean, this is not maybe the best, but one of the best I will remember. So uh, it was quite a lot of time I spent with the, with the planning. So it works with a plan, according to plan. Everything fits nicely in the right place. So uh, when everything clear up, at the behind I will shoot a couple of more photos. And uh, let me go through a uh, bit close up here now. So that's the, that's the coach in the right place. You see the couple inside. And then there's some beautiful uh, silverware cutting kit. Stairs are a couple of uh, mishaps here. Maybe just a couple of parts and it's uh, just uh, off from the center, but it was very easy to do it back with the hair, I see. Joe did a fantastic job with the flowers. So it's really fantastic everything we've got. And of course the, the church is really the centerpiece. A couple of parts of the church I just miss it. I didn't want to do it because I just have to see how fine and good. So that is the fact. I hope you will enjoy that watching this video. So later on I'll be back to the venue. And then we will we'll just turn into wedding and hopefully take some more photos, take some more clips. Most important, of course, when the couple comes to cut the click, I will be around to take another most important clip from that. <laughs>
Well, we wish to the wedding couple lifelong happiness. Thank you so much for choosing my channel and spending your time to watch this video. God bless you all. Until to my next interesting event, which my cake will be involved, that I can show you. And bye for now.